So the question is, who would win? Team A or Team B? Well, we're going to add Goku to Team A and Saitama to Team B. In my personal opinion, in an all-out brawl, Team A would win. But in a tournament style, it could be a different story. Uh, so here are going to be the matchups. It's going to be Naruto, Ichigo, Natsu, Luffy, Asta Meliodas, Mob, Gon, Goku, Saitama. Not necessarily in that order. Not necessarily that's who's going to win. And I guarantee you not one team is going to win every fight. So let's start with Asta and Meliodas. Boom. So I think Asta would beat Meliodas. Because Meliodas can send any magical power back. But Meli... But Asta doesn't have any magic, and Meliodas, Meliodas's power is magic. So this is how I think it would go. Asta and him will just go back and forth with their swords, you know, having a golly time. And then Meliodas would be wondering why is his magic power getting weak, getting weaker, and weaker, and weaker. To the point where he probably would go assault mode. Now, do I think that it would be a good idea to go assault mode immediately? I think it would be a great idea to go assault mode immediately. That would force Asta to draw his real power and make for a more entertaining fight. So, hold on one second. So, it will force Asta to bring out his real power. And it would basically just be a test of strength between these two guys and durability but asta would overall win one asta is much faster than meliodas and with that comes more stam so he would win the fight in the long run so next you have naruto and ichigo so with this i think i'm gonna have to give it to ichigo in this one now well if we give them their end of their end of you know their anime selves well both of these animes are continuing thank you so much that bleach has come back thank you but if we're gonna do it when it stopped ichigo is gonna win ichigo overpowers naruto even with him having pieces of all the bijou inside of him ichigo was still overpowered and let me tell you why one ichigo is a god he is like nobody's i don't even like bleach like that but ichigo is a god i watched all of rewatched all of bleach through quarantine and realized yes he is a god he is a hack he probably is a god character every time you find out oh there's a, he, there's hollow oh yeah <laughs> ichigo's part of hollow there's spada hmm he's part of that too hmm so reaper oh yeah he's part of that too you know I mean? yeah he's part of that too there's no way there's no way that Ichigo will lose this fight because he's basically a hack. He's basically having a bot in a bot lobby. There's no way to win. Naruto gets KO'd. Now, does Naruto put up a fight? Yes. So next is Gon. <laughs> but yeah, so next is Gon and Mob. Let's see who wins this one. So it's going to be between Gon and Mob. Listen, we already know adult gone in a hundred percent mob is a gas fight listen who got adult gone going rock paper scissors what 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 op right but then you gotta think about it gone then you gotta think about it mob 100 percent. also just like ichigo a hack so team a is two wanting b right now there's been three matches, and Team A has taken most of those matches. One, because Gon, I don't think Gon will ever beat Mob, mainly because Mob just going 100% will probably one-shot Gon, even with rock, paper, scissors. Uh, so next is Luffy and Natsu. Let's check it out. Okay, guys, so this is what we're going to do. Okay, so... I really didn't watch One Piece like that, so I looked up. Does Asta, does Luffy has firepower? No, his punches are just so strong that it creates a friction in the atmosphere to create a fire-like effect when he punches. So if we're doing full power Ast, full power Luffy. So he has that. And those punches, well, they won't affect Asta because he's just eating those literally. 
and this is going to be a long range fight and Asta's okay with that cuz he's close range, long range, mid range, every range. So Asta would prob I would say Asta would lose, but I genuinely think Asta no, I said Asta. My bad. Not to mainly because Natsu is probably one of my favorite characters in all of anime. Anyways, I didn't say that out loud. <laughs> uh, no bias in here. Uh, Luffy would lose. He would get overpowered, outsped by uh, Natsu because Natsu was a god, a human, a demon, a dragon. He's basically Ichigo, bro. Like, he's literally Ichigo. He's everything that was introduced. Next, and finally, Goku versus Saitama. Saitama Tards. I know I'm gonna have Saitama Tards in my comments. Like, no, bro, you're so stupid. You're so dumb. Saitama was basically the Roy Goku. Like, there's no way. The, 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 the. No, shut up. Shut up. It's been proven that Saitama cannot be everybody with one punch, and Goku ain't everybody. Goku's a god. No, I know I've been calling a lot of people god, but he's literally a god. He has god key. As godlike power, he's stronger than a couple of gods, a lot of gods, most of the gods. If you're not a destroyer, he's probably stronger than you. Saitama, he's really strong. He's beaten a god before, uh, but that god was not Goku. So we're doing full power, so we're doing him in the strongest fight ever, which was versus, obviously, that god. And uh, versus strongest... Uh, st strongest Goku, which is Tournament of Power Goku... Uh, ultra Instinct. So, uh, uh, yeah, he, the the fight's over before it even starts. You he can't touch him. He can't touch him at all whatsoever. So what I'm thinking is, it's over before it starts. UI Ultra Instinct Goku versus Max Saitama. Saitama cannot touch Goku. Goku goes Ultra Instinct goes behind him and start clapping cheeks. Okay, Saitama will put up a good fight. It will be like the Ichigo versus Naruto fight, ex ex except Team A wins. So, thanks, guys. Thanks, guys. This has been a fun video to make. But Team A takes the cake. Um, There's no way. And if it was an all-out brawl, maybe I'll do an all-out brawl. Yeah, I'll do an all-out brawl before this video is over. Let's see how that'll go. So, this I think this all-out brawl will go, right? So, we're going to have these same matchups, the first, right? So, Goku is obviously going to want to fight Saitama, Saitama alone. And, yeah. So, and Saitama will take that challenge, right? So, what will happen to everybody else? Well, Ichigo and Naruto will be scrapping toe-to-toe -to -toe for about a good 10-15 minutes before they both power all the way up, and then, by that time, Meliodas has been defeated, Gon has been defeated, and it's basically just uh, Luffy and Asta fighting, and then uh, Mob and Asta, I mean, Natsu and Luffy fighting, and Mob and Asta pull up and just help Natsu clap Lucy, Luffy. Right, so, so, uh, they will help him clap Luffy, and then those three will go help Naruto clap Ichigo, and all four of them against Ichigo is a big fat L for Ichigo. Now, I already said that Saitama versus Goku, Goku will win, so Goku slaps Saitama, and it's a dub for Team 8 again. But the fight will be a little more elaborate than that. See, Asta would overpower. Listen, Asta will overpower Meliodas quicker than he did in the one one because he wants to go help Mob with Gon. He wants to be a bigger help. So he would clap Melio. I love Seven Deadly Sins, but Meliodas would lose. Then he goes to help Mob destroy Gon. Adult Gon versus Mob. I think it would be a pretty good fight if they have more range and they're not in a tournament style of a fight. So, all out, uh, you know, Mob and, and Asta versus Gon is too easy. They just sweep that boy. And then you have, you know, the boy, the the boy Natsu versus Luffy. They team up, just like I said, and beat him in. Yeah, that's pretty much how it's going to go. You can't change my mind. And if you think you can, make a video about it and post it. 
And thanks, guys, for watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe. I'm out.